We are back, 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 back. We have the best neighbors here. The best neighbors. And our neighbor just brought us a whole bunch of such cool twisty wood. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. So much. That's the wrong hand for that glove. We're back. <laughs> back, 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 back. Okay. I'm gonna flux some more and tack these pieces together. Oh, well. <laughs> we have the loveliest neighbors. We truly, like, we're living in paradise. We are living in paradise. Our neighbors are so amazing. I just got given all this incredibly twisty, twisty wood that I'm putting up on the arches by the forest. Ah, craziness. Wonderfully, wonderful craziness. Alluring. My phone is so weird. I think we're live. Let me move that so you can see. Martin's doing something in the, the kiln for me. Absolutely positive. I am live, yay. <laughs> Good to know. This little pumpkin is going to be so beautiful. Already is getting more so. more flux. And thanks for following. Um, this silver stuff, the copper wouldn't melt. <laughs> copper has a higher melting temp. This stuff is, um, it's 60-40. Lead and tin. So lead has a really low melting point. Hey, Cambria, how are you doing? Hope you're having a beautiful, beautiful Sunday. I've been having such a lovely Sunday today. And this is like, think of this as the hot glue. <laughs> it holds it all together. It adheres to the copper. So now the copper, which was just like tape, is now strong. I make um, windows like this. We can make this little 3D hanger. Stained glass little moss garden. Um, it's it's how you join the how you join the, the stained glass together.
So when I do the one side, then I turn it over and post the picture of your garden on the Facebook group. I have not been there today, Bandit. I gotta go. I gotta go see it. Then we put our flux on the back. Flux the back. I love um, that sizzling sound. <laughs> I can relate. Really, Martin's putting fresh kiln paper on the kiln shelf for me. I got stuck in kiln. I'm fusing. Oh my gosh, wait till you see what's going in the kiln. It's, oh, I'm going to Paris, or I'm going to France for the month of February. And I've decided that I'm going to hire a car for the whole month. I'm going to have a rental car for the whole month. And um, I guess the chateau that I'm staying at is close to Switzerland. So I want to drive to Switzerland. <laughs> and I know it's Feb it will be February, so it'll be cold. But I want to do a road trip, <laughs> like a whole bunch of road trips. No, I'm going for, it's an artist residency in this beautiful chateau. I was awarded a, a residency there. And um, so it's for, well, it's for four weeks in February, basically the whole month of February. I think I, it's, my residency starts the 2nd of February to the 28th. So we are going to a chateau in France. And when I say we, I mean me and you. Morton's not going. Morton doesn't want to go. Morton doesn't like to do my art stuff with me. I don't know why. He said he'll stay home and keep the fire going. But I have this glass. It's a picture glass that I pulled. And I had lost this glass. I had... I turned it into, um, I fused it again after I pulled it, and it just looks so beautiful, and it reminds me of a French road map. And um, so I'm going to do, I don't know how many pieces I'll get from it, but I'm going to do a little um, French road trip set that will have, I'll have it for sale on the on the website limited limited supply and i'm hoping that the sales from it can't be a thing to do this i'm hoping that the sales from it pays for the rental car and the gas for the rental car gas in europe is really expensive really expensive That's going to be fun. Thank you so much for contributing to the live goal. I don't even know what the live goal is. It seems to change every time we do a live. I think you can go in and set it too. This is, throws random stuff up for me. But the residency, I'm going to be doing some painting and stuff, but I really want to focus on writing because here, I find it hard to write here because I get distracted with doing other things. And when you write, like you really have to just, the goal is going there, thank you. Uh, when you write, you gotta just focus right in on that. I'll be writing here. I write in the morning sometimes. And Martin will find me and say, what do you want for breakfast? And it just, like, my whole train of thought just goes. The thing I was writing is now gone. So I think I'm going to write. I'm not sure what I'm going to write, but I think I'm going to write. Bubble, bubble, boil and dribble.
but the chateau is so beautiful. I got to do a TikTok about that too. And while I'm there, I'll definitely do lives. Go for the hedgehog. How would I know there's a go for a hedgehog? That would be good. I will, um, there's going to be, when I do the artist residency, there's going to be 18 other artists there too that do sort of everything from all over the world. And I'm really excited to meet them and um, hopefully make some friends. Um, and of course, invite them to come visit us if they're in the States ever. And if you ever wanted to learn how to um, do stained glass, do that. Learn. <laughs> you can you can watch a million TikToks on it. You can. I have a whole bunch of YouTubes on it. I gotta do the sides. And we gotta do our little curly cue. I typically, to do the sides, I like to let it lay down and just come right along. Glass is a really bad conductor for heat, and you can get a thermal crack if you let your glass get too hot. So I like to just let it lay down because the heat just immediately transfers to the board. The board can take it. edges. And then I feel over to see if there's any snags. Soften them. Soften any snags. I'm going to fill that part in a little bit. I'm going to make this a little rounded. I like a nice little round bit. Ooh, that scared me. <laughs> that bubbled up. That's why we wear glasses. And this, look, it popped up on here. It popped up on here. Thank you so much. Um. Yeah, I should probably say hi to me. <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't been on all day. I wish. I wish I was sat here all day making stuff. That's the dream. Just feeling for any bumpy bumps. There's one. I'm going to wait to take that one down, though. Because, um, um, I have to put my little curly cue on here. My little curly cue. <laughs> I love that. And I can I don't know how, but I can always tell where the hang point is. You pick it up to hold it, like you wouldn't want your hook to be there. You want your hook to be here. So I know I have to have the curly cue going over. That's the center point to hold it. It's gonna, it's gonna look, it's gonna look awesome. -er. I'm gonna take these off to do this part. Take a nice copper wire. I'm gonna take a pretty big piece. And give it a little snippety snip. 
honey? Yeah. You okay? I thought you did shanty and my daughter from my dentist. I'll look on my phone to tell you the dentist time. Now we're gonna make a little curly cue on the end. little curly cue on the end like this. Like this. And then my handy dandy dowel rod also works really good for making curly cues. I'm going to curly cue it the whole way except to the other end. We'll do another little curly cue over there. Now I'm going to decide where we want this. That I want right there. Definitely right there. Glove up. Put your gloves back on. Thanks, a Mandalorian, for those lovely little gum gum bears. And thanks, Bandit. And thanks, Ashley, for following. And hello if you're a new follower. I'm Priscilla. This is Morton back here. We live in an old church and I make arts and crafts. Lots of arts and crafts. And we do DIY and all kinds of fun stuff. So I'm going to start just by put, tacking this down. Now, metal. Metal gets hot quick. So you might not want to hold it with your hand, hold it, hold it. And you also got to let it get cool so it solidifies. So I typically keep my flux here. Touch. That's perfect. That cools it right down. And then, thank you. Thanks, Samuel, for the bear. This little curly cue. Now we got to go up here. Because remember, we need a little hanging part. So I'm going to take this up here to go across our pumpkin stem. Put this on here. Oh, that looks super cute. So now I, I got plenty of options for where I'm hanging what. <laughs> so I'm going to take this Put this point down here. These are all connection points that make our piece super duper strong. And that's what you want. You want a super strong piece. Then this little guy is going to go here. He'll be beautiful there. Two places. Two places he's going to go. One right there, and one right there. <laughs> but it's not done yet. Monofilament mm -hmm. will go in underneath. So now I'm going to go around with my fingers, make sure there's no snaggy points. There's a little snaggy point. Just smooth it out. Smooth it out. That bit fell. That's fine. The, brush be nice. the brush is flux. Flux. And that, the flux um, just makes everything stick. 
the chemical that reacts with the copper and the lead solder to make the two stick together easier. Okay. Good, good, good. And here I dropped a piece. So I'm just going to go right back over this super fast. This idea. Thank you for the bear. Okay. And more bears. Thank you. So now the flux. I'm going to take the flux. I'm going to let this in because I'm going to make a couple. Of, I've got to make one more of these tonight. Why you pull the chief? Check the gold. My gold chief. Thank you, everybody. Kisses. I would blow you kisses, but I don't want to put this these chemicals in my face. <laughs> so this is patina. Patina is going to take this silver and turn it black. This is magic. Watch. Look at. It. Not silver anymore. I'm loving how tall. these are looking. Oh, thank you. I just love doing things. I don't even know that I'm talented. Right. I just love making stuff. Are you stuff. making the last one on live as well, say Desiree? Probably. If you want to watch. If you want to hang out. Grandma says that is beautiful. I love you guys. <laughs> it would be so cute if you could do a black cat on top of the Oh, it would be. Thing. It would be. Uh, Rachel, yeah, it is quite an expensive hobby to start because you've got to buy the solder and iron, the... Uh, and uh, like the lead solder, the glass and everything. So at the initial outset, it's quite expensive. Is, uh, but you've got the running just flyers, do it. the just glass do cutter it. and everything. So look, see the black, the patina, best way to get started and the is silver. If, yeah, a lot of local art, like what, what would you call them, Priscilla? The studio. You go stained glass workshops. You can attend classes to find out if you actually like it. Before you go it. to the expense of buying your own stuff. But I think a lot of people, I've had people that I've taught how to do stained glass who said, I have had all this stuff in my closet for years and they get scared because there's some scary sides to it. So we wear gloves. We, you know, do the safe stuff, like do it on a board. You can't um, leave it silver. You can totally leave it silver. You can get other colors of patina yeah. as well. I have copper patina that when you put on the silver, it turns it copper again too. But for these pumpkins, I'm turning them all black. Um, just because. Copper on pumpkins look cute too. But these are for my Halloween boxes. So I like to keep, like everything's different in the box, but I kind of like to keep it like the same-ish. And now I'm just going to get on the edges all that I missed. And because we have Morton here, Morton will take this and wash this for us, won't you, honey? Oh, that didn't sound like you wanted to. I'll clean it here if you don't want to wash it. It's easiest if you just wash it in the sink. Back in the studio, my love. Honey. What? If you just wash it in the sink in the studio. Right. Martin will go clean it up for us. And then we'll have a look-see at it. Here, honey, take this along to give it a dry. Hold it for me. Um, if you have any left over, pour that back in. We didn't have a whole lot left over. Yeah, look, um, I, I always say do it. Go for it. But try it out. Make sure you like it. I'm going to make another pumpkin. And the first thing I'm going to do is cut this in half. I'm going to put my, my gloves back on. Wear gloves when you do this. This stuff is sharp. This stuff is sharper than surgical steel. 
I don't want you getting hurt. That scores a glass. This could never cut heel. This can't cut heel. Some people are scared of that. It won't. It will never cut heel. And now this glass. If you look at this, hopefully you can see kind of the grain of the glass goes up and down. So, um, hmm. Yeah, I wanted to go up and down. <laughs> I love these edges. <laughs> and your order went through for the apron. Finally, oh my gosh, you got the apron. I got to tell you, the, Hall the Halloween apron, I'm ordering some and having them here. I've had so many friends stop in to say, do you have any of those Halloween aprons for sale? And I'm like, you go to our merchandise shop on Printify. And you can get the Halloween apron. <laughs> they think I have them here. I wish I did have them here. And I love Printify. Oh my gosh, they're super awesome. It's, I love it so much. I'm getting one for Erica. Erica loves it. Erica loves it. Yay, we're at the work. Yes. I'm going to get one for, for our son's girlfriend. This I'm just going to cut it for you. Oh. Did you bring the little ride back? Thanks, honey. So this is our finished product. Almost. Almost. And it looks best with the sun coming through it. The sun is almost gone. So I can open up this window now. I can open up this curtain. Yes, I saw that. We were talking about it. This apron that I'm wearing, I I was gonna wear my um, my Halloween apron, but stained glass is too um, like things will pop up and get on it. So let's be in your Halloween basket. The um these are in the Halloween boxes with the sea glass on them. It's sea glass from Scotland. So I gotta put the sea glass on that guy. And I gotta put the sea glass on this guy. I love them. Oh my gosh, and they're all different. I don't do anything to a pattern. And I just like the idea. Like I love how the I love how the sea glass just sounds by there. <laughs> And I just think they look super cute. I'm going to turn you around so you can see the window. You can see the light. Me. I grabbed you from out of the holder. Oh my gosh, the holder grabbed a hold of you. You were grabbed by the holder. Uh, I want to turn you around and show you this. Flip. You got to see these in the light. So when you see them in the light, I love those. Oh my gosh, I love those. That guy's done. He, and these guys still have to get their sea glass on them. Pay attention to this gorgeous, gorgeous glass. Look with the light behind it. And there's the sun way down there setting. Look at that glass. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And anybody who's got my boxes before, I do boxes a couple times a year. They're always incredible deals. Look at that glass. That's a little beauty. Well, that's the one we just made. 
that, and the, the thing I love about it is look how beautiful it is when the light is not on it. It's beautiful when the light's not on it. And it's beautiful when the light's on it. <laughs> Pumpkin time. Oh, it's you. <laughs> Martin. Oh. Hello. Mm -hmm. um, anybody who's been following us for a while and has bought boxes from me before, you know I say this every every single time I say it. The boxes are going to sell out fast. And they always do. These, these ones, these boxes sold out in less than 24 hours. And I always do like a limited number of because I make everything myself. I'm, I'm, I'm every Oompa Loompa here. <laughs> Morton, ha Morton has really been helping though, like with the packaging and all this other stuff that's going on with these boxes. Um, this piece of glass, this piece of glass. Honey, could I give you a bag to take you this sticker off? Do you ship to Europe? Um, I don't, well, I have done, but I'm not currently right now. The prices are just crazy, crazy. I'll tell you what you can do if you like my art. Um, go to our Printify. People from all over, has they have been getting, I have two designs in our Printify store. Both watercolors that I did. One is called Love. <laughs> um, love is my favorite thing. And it's sort of everything here from the church, from the 1870 studio. And then the other one is called True Love Halloween. And it's a it's a Halloween. Um, once I ship my Halloween boxes out, I will tell you the story that I wrote. Um, I'll do a TikTok and read it, actually. Morton, if you could get that label off of there, that would be awesome. But, um... um Printify, the company that we use to do our merch, they ship, they do all over. And I think right now there might be a sale. I think it's Australia and Europe. A special deal going on right now. So check it out if you want to. Especially glass on international packages, because the minute you say it's glass inside, oh, you got to get insurance. Insurance is crazy. I got a little nib sticking on there that needs to come off. You. And somebody asked earlier, I don't remember if it was on this live before, if I cut myself, the answer is yes, a lot. I have band-aids everywhere. And um, you want to you wanna wear gloves when you do this. Are you hearing a change? It changes sound right before it breaks. That little nub come off you. Sometimes if they're too little, you have to nip them off. It's too little. Had to be nipped. Had to be nipped. Startling, yes. Satisfying, yes. 
then you get a good break on glass. Mm. It feels great. <laughs> That one wanted to break so easy. Let's find our perfect stem. Oh, you're cute. Yep. This one doesn't even need little pieces on it. He's perfect. But he needs a little leaf. The little leaf. We're gonna nippy nip nip. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing, I want to do a marathon crafting session sometime. I want to do a marathon crafting session where I just like craft till I can't craft anymore. <laughs> like when I was in, when I was in school, I went to, for seventh and eighth grade, I went to this private Christian school and they had a rockathon to raise money. Sounds fun, but it was rocking and rocking <laughs> chairs. It was fun. And uh, I lasted 25 hours. Raised a lot of money. I forget for what. <laughs> but I would love to do a craft-a-thon. <laughs> it seemed 24 hours less. I'm in for it. I think it would be super fun. Because lives, like, excitement and energy builds for me being here. It's hard to explain. But it does. Oh, he's perfect like that. I'm not cutting anything else out of him. He's gorgeous. This little man's gorgeous. gorgeous. Oh, and this guy. This guy's going on like this. That. There. That. Thanks, honey. Martin is so good. Martin, would you be up for a 24 hour craft a thon? <laughs> we craft. I could take a little disco nap and Martin <clears throat> could make something. We could get a couple people in on it. That would be really fun. I would love it. Take your gloves off to put your tape on. Honey. Do you know my foiler? Do you know where it is? Well, the thing with the ring, the bit. Mm-hmm. It had been on shelf over but where it is now, I don't know. Do you want to see if you can find it? Uh, oh. Ouch. Is it no one wanted these That's sharp. <laughs> but when you put this on, it stops it from being sharp. But I might need a band-aid. Nope. Got lucky. Did not need a band-aid. I think it's under my cutting table. These ends are pointy until you put this on. Like now, not pointy. <laughs> and then when I put the soldering on, really not pointy. It's the golden hour. Just on this window. It's over in the rest of the church. And this is super soft. You just tear it with your finger. Put it on. Burnish it. Burnish it. I want to show you this little device. This is a foiler. Do you want to put... I'll put this on myself. I'll show you how to do it. Um, I'm going to show you how you can use a foiler. Uh, three, how many five seconds are speed by? <gasps> Glass beads. Oh my goodness. Cambria. Oh my gosh, that sounds incredible. You should know my address. My address is on the website. 
people get freaked out that we don't have a P.O. box. But we're, I'm a business, kind of. And the public come here. <laughs> so we just use a regular address. And we love getting surprises in the mail. I love, love, love it. Someone sent me this book about um, these ladies that had bought a church. <laughs> totally accept. <laughs> and they gave you and take the food you shipped them. What, honey? You shipped them the speech. I'm sh yeah, I'm shipped. What are you talking about? Did you see what Cambria was saying? Yeah, she's going to send... Um, Oh, oh, I got you. Cambria, no, I'm super sorry. Uh, I could put them in my next boxes. But yeah, these are going out tomorrow or the next day. Um, I kind of want to hold them up now. <laughs> but we'll do it for the next time. Cambria, you need to come visit us. We're not that far away from each other. I want to have a TikTok get together here. I really do want to have a TikTok get together here. I think it would be super fun. And with people that aren't afraid to be on the camera, so we can just like let the camera go so and let the live go. So if people... Um, if people uh, want to watch the little party and get together, just want to show up, message me. Message me. Uh, yeah. That would be so much fun. And we are East Coast. There's a lot of people that I wish... I just wish we could all be neighbors. That would be super fun. Houses don't ever really go for sale here in our little village. But whenever I see like a house that's for sale, I'm like, I want to buy it. To have places for people to stay. This little village would be a, um, this is, um, this is the size between a half inch and a quarter inch. Honey, what would that be? Three eighths. There you go. I'm going to stick this on here. I'm, I'm, sure. American. I'm not even American. How do you think you want to know that? I don't know how I don't know. I'm, I like to use quarter a lot. Quarter inch. So this is a foiler. I'll show you how it goes. Oh, I need that little key thingy to open these. A little work. wrench, a little something. Stick it on here. What size is it? It's like a little, it. there's like a little, the I have it. a little cap somewhere that fits on here and turns. It used to be with this. It wasn't anywhere on the shelf. over here. Dang it. Oh, wow. a pair of pliers. I could use a pair of pliers. I have pliers right here. It has a little thing that fits there. So this is a foiler. And this was a, that's an empty ring from coal. You put your foil on. Angelia is saying, oh, how, oh, how long have you been on? <laughs> I don't want to miss you on the weekend. Oh. We, I haven't been on real long. I was on and then jumped off. Get on there, you. I just finger tighten these. You don't got to get crazy with these. And then this comes up through here. It's right, isn't it? Yeah. That's right. Oh, Martin, the sticky part's up. 
sticky parts up. Mm, sticky sticky parts part. up. So put my glass in like that. Oh, oh. I'm right. Not always right, but I'm right now. And then here, back here. See, this thing is fidgety. And I like just, I just like going. And you really made a mushroom that the air flew the first one. Oh, oh, very cool. So this you pull up here. And this thing should be wider. We're going to make do. We're going to make do. I have friends that swear by these. I just kind of swear at these. Jenny the Jojo is saying, Oh my god, your home is so beautiful. Thank Can you. Can I please see your view? Yeah, my view is gorgeous right now. I'll show you. This isn't going to work, honey. It's just not going to work. <laughs> Theoretically, it makes it quicker for you. Um, you know, and I had one of these in my workshop just because everybody wanted to try one and they would try it and nobody likes them. <laughs> I don't have it on my stained glass thing. The view right now is really beautiful, the sun is setting. Okay, Mama Bear says I want to be there. To do fun stuff with you and Mark. Yes. As you do glass and painting, we will put it on paper. Yay, put it on Facebook. Everybody, let's get together in the Facebook group. Okay. So the view, as you can tell right now, is sunny. It's super sunny. Get ready for it. There comes the sun. Do do do. -do. There comes the sun. That's west. And that window is the Purple Mountains Majesty. We're in the mountains of Pennsylvania. <laughs> You're welcome. This is the view that I'm looking at here. Flip. That's a pretty view too. Oh, and there's a super cute view. Oh my gosh, that view is the cutest. <laughs> Martin, it is. My face, <laughs> my face is like crazy red, but it's the sun right now. I'm not hot, but hot, but my face says I am. It's the sun is just really bright right now. Well, the sun is surely sinking down, but the moon is slowly rising. So this old world must still be spinning around. I still love you. The sun's definitely sinking. The moon is somewhere out there rising. We gotta go look at the moon tonight. Somebody told me last night it was really pretty and I didn't look at it. See, I just think the other thing is kind of fiddly. I like doing it this way. I think it's also a problem is it that no being it was wide. To be down to the table. Well, and this was wider than my, the feeder thingy. It was for a quarter inch, so it was a little awkward. The sun's getting ready to set. And Julia loves what he gave saying, Julia, mm -hmm. remember the word. Oh, I have a weird memory for lyrics. And I can just remember so many songs. You remember? I don't know. I rose. Thank you, Annie. 
Um, I don't know if anybody remembers there was a show called Name That Tune. You try to name a tune in just a couple notes. Not a rose. Come on. Thank you for the roses. <clears throat> but I I love yeah, that show. Oh. And you got hand props from Angelia. Thanks for joining live through an invite. And make sure that you're following, pretty please. Um, the um, that show name that tune. I I was like I can name that tune in two notes. <laughs> My mom was so musical. My mom could play any song she would, any song hearing at one time. She could read music, but she could just play by ear, and she could also sing pitch perfect. She was so talented. Jay says it was just cool to sing you properly. Yay! Jay, thank you. You yeah. just made my night. And you uh, followed. You're awesome. Hi, I'm Priscilla. I like to make things. Bob oh, yeah, Bob Barker. He, Bob Barker had a great run. Bob Barker was 99, and he did wonderful things for doggies. You told her that. <laughs> That's great. Keep throwing your paper away as you tear this off. It makes it easier. Jay says, Jay's keys, thanks for sharing. Yeah, I remember that show. I wasn't good at it, but it was good at the Liars Club. The Liars Club. Does anybody remember Hollywood Squares? Did I just hear fireworks? I think something burning and it was probably Jimmy. Jay's oh. also a beautiful artist. <gasps> oh. Oh, do you do, do you do, um, do you make TikToks? Let me follow you. I'm always looking for other people that are creators. I like to follow people who create things on TikTok. And if you're scared to create stuff on TikTok, get over it. <laughs> Janice loved Hollywood Squares. Hollywood Squares, they were funny. Was that the same as Celebrity Squares in Britain? That's like Celebrity Square in Britain. I guess since Britain didn't have Hollywood, they couldn't call them Hollywood Squares. You make TikToks awesome. I just followed you. Paul Lynn was sent or square. Yes, Paul Lynn. I, oh my gosh, I love Paul Lynn. He was also Templeton the Rat in Charlotte's Web. I love Paul Lynn. He was so funny. <laughs> the stained glass, Jay, you're absolutely right. It's a process. Anybody can do this. Anybody can do stained glass. And I promise you it's addictive. When you start, just, just remember, it's addictive. Fancy, fancy. 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 Your life stopped and your software crashed. Sun flares for sure. Oh gosh. We had the the guys cut the power here today. They put in they got all this they what got the our son's washer is now wired in. His dishwasher's wired in. What else did you guys wire up? Dishwasher, what else? The dryer. And and he has they have two refrigerators. Um they need to Erica does. Erica has a lot of medications that have to be ref refrigerated, so um, they needed they needed to have glass the two. Boat moving oh, in that. yes, glass bottom boat. Was he in it? Was he? Well, Nina says that. I can't remember what Nina his role says was. Glass boat. You got sent a bouquet from Tammy. Thanks, Tammy. Been working since noon. I started crafting around seven. I've gotten so much stuff done. I packed all the little Halloween, the trick or treat bags for the Halloween ghost globes. I'm gonna make a TikTok about it because I want the people who got them. Well, it's gonna be in the box too, telling them about um, the little Halloween, the trick or treat bags. I want to. I want to be able to craft with you. 
and I think this is going to give a little Jerry's feeling. saying, at JSTs, we can do it, and by we, we mean you. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll not be going into the secret room, I know for a long time. Yeah, but, uh, they've been like bricked up with like huge concrete blocks that's like so we don't know why they've been bricked up and it's like until we it's, have it's a mystery we'd probably be better getting a structural engineer to look at the place yes in case it was reasons of that that it was done because they uh, yes, on the base of the tower yesterday when i made that TikTok, the secret room is at the bottom of the bell tower the bell tower is about a hundred foot from ground level up to the um, the tip of the tower, and um, so it's a ton of weight. It's five stories, and um, you you can't even imagine how thick those walls are. So to get into it, we got to go from outside. And yesterday, we had this. We had a great guy here working. He was doing plumbing downstairs yesterday. AJ and he took off the drywall and I got to see you got to see in the video too the walls behind the the secret room I can't believe they walled it up like they did but um you know who knows why honey apparently there's a scary movie called the Pope's Exorcist where something scary is behind the wall i'm only imagining that it's bad <laughs> but we don't watch scary movies so i don't know i don't want to see that movie i'm a big old chicken i'm not really a chicken i've just seen enough things in real life <laughs> that i don't need to watch a scary movie <laughs> Okay, I gotta plug you in. It's not so bad. <laughs> Did you watch it, Angelia? Oh my gosh, you little daredevil. So this piece, I only want to attach the leaf here, here, and here. So I need to I need to solder the leaf by yeah, himself. So must mean they're a chicken too. <laughs> yeah, I see my dad told me once you put that stuff in your head, you can't get it out. And like, he told me that when we were watching, I forget one, some scary movie. It was like an Alfred Hitchcock movie. And I'm like, oh my gosh, he's right. I was thinking about it all the time. And um, so I just, yeah, I like to, um, <laughs> I like to just, I watch happy, sappy movies. We like and happy, he's, sappy. He's still more the cover to watch in Jaws. <laughs> Jaws. <laughs> I'm not. Always, mum never let her watch Hitchcock because they said it would have nightmares. <laughs> That's what my dad said. We yeah, watched. Angelia said, "Good for scary movies. It's documentaries that scare the heck out of us." <laughs> Ricky says Jaws is on right now. Is it? Oh my gosh. The guy uh, says Jaws scares them to this day. Yeah, they did. Jaws, I've seen that. I've seen parts of it. I've never sat down and watched the whole thing. Like in a hotel room or whatnot. <laughs> um, you know, part of it's on and you watch it. I'm going to need a bigger <laughs> bowl. <laughs> yeah, I know some lines from it, but I haven't watched the whole thing. But, um. It's fluff that she's painting on the copper before she sold us. It's copper foil that's wrapped around the glass, Tiffany style. It was invented by the workshops of Tiffany Comfort. What was his name? Louis Lu Comfort Louis Comfort Tiffany. And uh, in the workshops, it was a lady in his workshops that devised the method to wrap the edges of glass in copper foil, glued onto it, and uh, then they, they were able to solder the glass together and it meant that they could make really intricate designs without having to use heavy lead came. 
Americans call it soldering, in Britain we call it soldering. Americans don't pronounce the L for some reason. Yeah, we say, we use the L. This is, oh my, I learned how to do this when I, I lived in Scotland for six years. And I did my, I did my course in 2001, honey. Didn't mm. I? I fell in love with it. I just fell in love with it. I've made, um... <laughs> fancy, fancy saying maybe the secret room is full of stained glass windows and Christmas glass ornaments <gasps> and dollars. <laughs> Give me a sledgehammer. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get in that stained glass or <laughs> get in that room. Maybe it's like the room at the Winchester house in California. Honey, you gotta go there. I gotta, I gotta get Morton to California. He's never been. We a were lot of, a lot of areas have uh, stained glass workshops now. Like, so you, if you go and do a, a workshop first, you can see if you like it, and uh, also it's you can learn to do it using their equipment, and you don't have to go to the expense of buying all the tools and the materials, because the initial outlay to do it's rather expensive. Is a uh, so if you find you like it, is a uh, you can get your own stuff to do it rather than spending like several hundred dollars that's maybe going to lie in a cupboard. <laughs> Janice is saying they'll bring a sledgehammer and help you. Mm -hmm. Pews and hymnals. No, they sold all that stuff. Yeah. We have a friend who um, was in there in the 60s and he put away Christmas decorations. In theory, there shouldn't be any old plumbing and wiring there because there was nothing no. down in there. Yep, it's the bottom of the bell tower. Unless they put trash plumbing and wiring in there, it's the base of the bell tower had nothing there. Guys says he could watch this for hours. <laughs> well, let's marathon. Yeah, let's, I'm ma hungry. let's marathon on a weekend. Are you hungry? Honey, yeah, you're hungry? Uh, Angelia says, sorry, four plus hours, they, they were a bit off. <laughs> we, yes, last night we did Aussie over Modo, four maybe hours. We've well, yeah. not heard them shouting, though. And he has no bells to yeah, ring. And they sold the bells, so he'd be a bit disappointed. Sanctuary! 153-year-old trash is another person's treasure. <laughs> Hi, Amanda. <laughs> I'm going to do this guy alone. It, the pieces, it, it depends on how intricate and how many pieces you're actually making. Like that one's got three, five pieces, so it's a, uh, like, it's got, I don't know how long she spent on it, less than an hour, or, or, or what, was it an hour, Priscilla? Uh, it's probably going to be an hour and a half till I wrap half, wrap the sea glass and put some of the pieces on. that she makes. It'll take her several days. Like she made a window piece that has a like a turkey and everything in it, and it was like three or four days to make that. Honey, that was weeks. Yeah, because it was like hundreds of pieces in it. <laughs> that was a long one. I was like, why did I do this? All these turkey feathers, but the turkey window but is like the, the windows that are above. Like all the all the windows that she did above uh, the at the top of our uh, the, the like the sort of half moon windows she did each one two different times to make because mm -hmm. some of them like the one I'm looking at right now has got one two three four five yeah six, that was seven pieces one. in it so it was quite a quick window to make but like the turkey window probably had. And the cherry window. And the cherry they window, they had well over a hundred pieces in yeah. them. So by the time you cut the pieces of glass, copper, foil them, 
sold on them together and everything. Yeah, you cut them all, you, you cut the glass to your own, and Priscilla makes her own pattern. She she never works. Some she has done in the past. But she, if I if I work to a pattern, I have drawn the pattern. Yeah, she she works to her own pattern. I don't like to use a pattern. Like these book. pumpkins, for instance, they're all different because uh, she's doing them to her own uh, free free design. Whereas a lot of people will work to a printed pattern. And there's on and there's sheet. nothing wrong with that. I just my. My brain does not do a pattern. No, this glass that she's using is from a... I think you've got a couple of different companies this here. This is all Yokogane. The majority of it is Yokogane glass. Mm -hmm. it's, it's actually manufactured in Pennsylvania, in yep. Connellsville, Pennsylvania, by an American company, Yokogane. They're an amazing company. It's 6040 sold of that she's this using. This is a piece of a pattern that I have drawn and done. Yeah, we're not sure what the rooms were. They were the foundation and base of the tower. They were, from what we were told in the we past, they were used for storage. A lot of patterns as, uh, But we don't, like we say, we're not 100% sure why they blocked them up. That's cool. So now that I have this guy done... Yeah, we, we'd probably do that and put like a, a, an endoscope camera in or something. Amanda says that leaf is shaped like Michigan's yes. upper peninsula. That's where it's going. That's where it's going. But because she's using the Tiffany style to make the designs, that's why you can use several different types of uh, media in it. As at the moment, it's stained glass she's using. But you can use seashells in the design as well because you can wrap the edges of the seashells with uh, the copper foil and, you and can sold or they want the pieces. You can use glass beads, anything that you can wrap the copper foil to that it won't come off when you put the solder around it. And when we get a when we get a hundred thousand followers, I'm getting away this this um mermaid that I made. We got to get to 100,000 followers. <laughs> okay, so this this yeah, side's done. Likes, yeah. That side's done. Thank you for all the likes. Now I got to flex this side. Oh, Miss Megan shared. Thank you. Thanks for sharing and liking everybody. Yeah, that mermaid's going to be a gift when we reach mm -hmm. 100,000 followers. I'll make a video. I made and one before. This live was me. Think, uh, tomorrow night we've got Mystery Monday, and if you register for it, I think you're giving away a gift, aren't you? Yep. If you register for tomorrow night's uh, Mystery Monday, there's going to be a prize given away. I think what, a painting. Is I it? don't know what it'll be. She it's doesn't know what it is yet. So uh, Mystery, honey. it's seven o'clock tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, I gotta make so that. I gotta make the live if you, event. If you register for tomorrow night and come along, as uh, honey, I didn't make the live so event yet. For however many people register for it, she's going to make a random drawing from the people, and they'll get. I get the last week she posted who it was that won on. Was it Wednesday or was it Friday? Yes, and they got a painting. And they got a painting. And Cambria got uh, fused glass last and night. Angelia is saying they need a mermaid to go with the fish they got. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, the event's created, doesn't it? No. So, I've, oh no honey, I've, I've been saying I have not made the oh, event Oh, she's yet. not made the event yet, but she's going to be posting it. We're in Pennsylvania, Locust Graphics, an hour north of Harrisburg. Uh, just Jenny says that... Uh, they used to do stained glass and we'll give you their leftover supplies. Thank you. Are we close? Are we close? I don't know. I don't know where Just Jenny is. Where are we at, Just Jenny? Uh, Amanda says we'll be home. How do you register once you, you go to the bit? It'll say on it there's yeah, a live once event. I make the live. And you click on it and it's uh, there's an option to register. Oh, after I do this one, 
we're going to take you on a little tour in the church because I need to stretch my legs. We'll take you on a little tour. Next to Atlanta. Before oh. cancer, did a lot of stained glass. So we go to Florida to our daughters and we take our car. So we, you should message me. I'm going to make sure we're friends right now. Just Jenny. I don't know that we're Angelia, so that's a strange one. Angelia is saying the favorite thumbnail is my face framed by bread. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love it. His face thing. But hey, I tried to message or I tried to follow you just Jenny, but your, your private account, but, um, message me. You can get to, you can email me on our website. As the flux um, of Burns, there is a smell. Morton has never been to Atlanta and I would be so happy to drive by and, um, meet you and take any unwanted stained glass stuff off your hands. That's why you should always work in a, a well-ventilated room. And I don't think you've got the plan. Running my now, my little you? battery ran out, remember? Right. But usually she has a fan running, but this is a really well-ventilated room we're in. Yeah, we're super 25 fan foot ceiling and like four and a half thousand square. Forty-five foot wide, be a hundred foot long. So, uh, honey, it's about one hundred and fifty feet 150 long. Feet long. <laughs> Martin, sometimes I wonder about you, babe. Sometimes hey, I what part of Florida do you go? In? We go just south of Daytona Beach. We're actually going in just a couple of weeks. Can you make a black spooky cat? You're being nice. Of course. <clears throat> Not tonight, but of course I can. We're going to put our copper on here. You can make anything in the uh, same glass fancy, you want to make. Saying, wait, I missed the answer. Does it smell flux and sold it? Yeah, there is an odor. But don't, um, yeah, don't do it without good ventilation. And, um, like, you can get a, you can get a smoke eating fan filter. Ozzy B says they'd love to get a pumpkin in a black car. Oh, that's not the cutters. That's my nippers. Kayla says they think the pumpkins are the favorite stained glass. <laughs> yeah. Yay. These pumpkins are super cute. I like the little curly cues on them from the copper. I like to, um, I like to do each one different. <laughs> I'm glad you're here for the creative energy. I think the whole world needs to just make arts and crafts and people would like be so happy if you were just making arts and crafts. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful world that would be. <laughs> Positivity, love, arts and crafts. Ah, ah. You grew up in New Smyrna Beach. I know NSB well. We go, um, we go out to, what's the name of that restaurant we go to with Adam and the fam? What is it, babe? What's that? The name of the restaurant, New Smyrna Beach, where we go and eat. Oh, I can't remember. The um, one that's got that crab shop. Yeah, there. there's a gorgeous cloud in the sky. I was looking at it, but it's a jet trail. Okay, so we're going to go back to the front. This is the back. We're going to come back to the front. And I want to put this on. Let's go. It's not called the garlic. No, it's not the garlic. It's got, it's got a fancy name, like a foreign name. No, I don't think it is. So Napa. I told you it was a foreign so name. So Napa. <laughs> is it Napa Valley no in California? Yeah. California is not foreign. Well, Napa is no, no <laughs> an English name. Are you sure? Yeah, I think Napa means something. I can't remember what it means. I don't know. So Napa. 
Designated room for Where arts do you and take crafts. your commissions? I have an idea if you're willing to do it, says Bozzi B. Uh, message me. Absolutely, just message me. Uh, Janice says, I would love a designated room just for my arts and crafts. The room is very small. The home is very small. Yeah, when I started when I started crafting for a business, I lived in a mobile home. It was a uh, twelve by seventy. My kids, I was, um, I was young. I was 18, 18, 19 years old, and um, my craft area was like a Rubbermaid box. And my first art and craft show, um, I think I made three hundred dollars, and that was, you know, that was back in nineteen eighty one or two. And I was like, oh my gosh, I want to do this for for a living. This is what I want to do. I found my purpose, <laughs> and um, I always encourage people. Take the craft that you're passionate about and turn it into your business. Now, it's not get rich quick. I would never tell anybody you're going to go be a millionaire. You might be. I do mine because I love doing it. And I don't feel like I work. <laughs> I don't feel like I work. I feel like I hacked life in a good way. I feel like I get to do what I love doing. And when my kids were little, I always got to be a room mother as a single mom. And it's just been, arts and crafts have been my life. And learn the word enough. <laughs> when you're satisfied that you have enough, you're going to be super happy. Super happy. I never knew that. Why is oh. Napa Valley called Napa? Oh, I don't the know. origin of the word Napa is disputed. The word Napa is of Native American derivation and has been variously translated as grizzly bear, house, motherland, or fish. Of the many oh. explanations of the name's origin, the plausible seems to be is derived from the fact of one word Napo meaning house. I didn't so it know could that. mean house valley. I didn't know that. That's super cool. Mm. Morton loves learning new things, don't you, honey? That's one, of, means village and indigenous work. that's one of the one of my favorite things about Martin. He loves learning things. It was called Sonapa Leo the Lion. Yeah, the restaurant New Summer Beach is so Napa and it is very, very yummy. I know that restaurant, the garlic, but we've never eaten in there. And every time I tell my sister we've never eaten in there, she's like, we gotta go there. Bobby's saying, look at that fabulous pumpkin. Bobby! I did not and see. he's playing with the emotes like crazy. Yay, Bobby. How are you doing, Bobby? You been having a good Sunday? I hope. The garlic is so yummy, apparently that's an NSB as well. Yeah, it is. It's... It's, you know, um, oh, the place that looks like a tree house that we can never get seated in. <laughs> it's not far from there. That's not the garlic. The garlic's not far from that place. I got a little ball to cut here. Chubby cat sees they're just popping in. It looks great. Hello. Uh, Bobby's That's... paper craft says, no, he worked to unalive. So much property oh. maintenance without loud. Yes. Norwoods and anything. Norwoods, yep. Yeah. Norwoods. Norwoods is good. You can never get a table in there. It's always busy. We go at the wrong time, I guess. Probably cut St. Johan Hart. Thank you. 
I'm excited. Morton and I are going down to Florida really, really soon. And um, our daughter is taking us to the Bahamas for a week. She's taking us to the Bahamas to, for a week. <laughs> our daughter is amazing. It's probably about too much lawn for more and shrubs. It's still a drive on, Bobby. Uh, hey, how about a robot? Robot. Bobby has a beautiful garden, though. Hey, Chubby Cat, you come on down and say, sound great. Yes. Bobby's saying that's fantastic. Oh, how fun she is, Manny Pink. Yeah, she's taking us to that resort in Atlantis for a week. I don't know how I got so lucky. I have amazing, amazing children. Don't we, honey? It hasn't been dry here most of the summer. That's the same. Yeah, year. it's, it's been just been so again. wet. Um, and that's a good idea. Morton's never been to the Bahamas, and I've I've been there, but I've never been to Atlantis. But I've heard good things about. Bobby says it's funny he was there on his poo. Yay! Did you go on any of the water slides, Bobby? My doctor <laughs> passed the buck and let me see if I could go on them. He says I should contact the surgeon. Now Morton wants to go on the. They have oh, paper crane from Chubby Cat. Thank you for the paper crane. Morton wants he to go on the. Phenomenal. Oh. Morton's gonna, he'll look at it and he'll see in person and he'll see what, Morton was doing push-ups today. I got five done and I'm probably doing push-ups. I did two and then I thought, I'll try another one and I got five. I used to be able to do 50, no problem. Then it's like, hey, well, I'm kind of knackered now. Honey, you're not knackered. You're just recovering. Morton had a quintuple bypass in May. We're very lucky Season Morton's here. I'm excited. I'm so excited. And um, it's a family vacay. So um, our daughter, her husband, and their two children are going. It's going to be fun. Now comes the patina. Now comes the time when we turn the silver black. This is my favorite. I always say this is my favorite part. Painting the roses black. Painting the roses black. Or painting the copper. Or, or painting the soldier black. Put sand in a deep container. Make a bowl, a bowl shape hole. Hang a wick and pour in wax. Sand crumbles. Oh, that's cool. It looks so cool. I've never done that. Hey, this pumpkin's wonderful. Thank you. Today has been just so fun. <laughs> I have been crafting, crafting, crafting all day. And our neighbor brought us all these twisty, cool branches that I'm going to use at the forest. Yeah, I think they would frown if we bought him, brought him a suitcase. <laughs> I was watching this show about Britain. I didn't know this. It was illegal to take... Um, did you know it's illegal to take shells from the beach in Britain? Mm. But they didn't mention sea glass. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I definitely got sea glass from Scotland. I've only ever found one piece of sea glass in England, but in Scotland, oh my gosh, I have found so much sea glass there. And one beach in Scotland, it's called Ruby Beach, is supposed to have something called Scottish rubies at it. And they're actually red garnets that are in these rocks. And I went there one day, searched all over, found some sea glass, saw some beautiful stuff, but didn't find rubies. It was a gorgeous day. It's in the kingdom of Fife. No, it's a uh, patina, it's called, it has a chemical reaction with the uh, lead and turns it black.
it, the orange is glass, so it doesn't do anything to the glass at all. It's chemically reactive with right the off. lead metal. It just washes off the glass. No. Do you want to wash this one for me too, honey? Mm -hmm. Uh, Nanny Pink just finished Outlander Series 5, wants to go to Scotland. Go. Go to Scotland. Always go to Scotland. It's called Patina, Mrs. Griffin. It's a chemical that you can, you can get it to have different chemical reactions with the lead. Martin's going to wash this one The first. different ones cause, cause it to do, go different colours. There you go, honey. Oh, Lauren's eating her first German brat. It's great at 2 a.m. From the bottom. The bottom, yeah, the bag. There you go. That sounds Two delicious, Laura. Do you remember? I love it. I love it. That's awesome. Go explore that little town in Germany called Wertheim. Um, no, this Greek restaurant here. This isn't the glass comes like this. The glass comes in all different colors. The patina is used basically for color. It doesn't do anything else. Like really. oh yeah, the patina is just about the patina is just the, the preference. Ireland's super cool too. Go there. Go everywhere you can. People who say, I want to go, I'm going to encourage you to go. <laughs> Eat the skin. <laughs> uh, yeah, that little town in Germany called Wertheim is amazing. There's a castle there. It cost you 75 cents to go in that castle. 75 cents in euros. Yeah, I buy the glass and sheets from a place out in Connellsville, Pennsylvania called Yakagini. I want to take you there and show you how the glass is made. It's so cool. I'm just looking to see which way the grain is going up and down. And this is the rough side. This is the smooth side. So we always cut on the smooth side. Always, 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 always. Yeah, I'll take you out there. We'll, we'll see how the, the owners are so nice. It's family owned. It's amazing people. Come on, you. Is being stingy. Wear your gloves when you work at this. Morton just went to wash that pumpkin for us. Back in the sink in the studio. It's nearly eight o'clock. Thanks, yeah. honey. I'll just hold it like this. This is this one, but it's not quite done because I have to put sea glass on it. That. That. Strangely enough, it's called a glass cup. And this, like the sea glass, like that, needs to go on there. And that sea glass we found in Scotland. Martin and I found that in Scotland. Honey, are you hungry? Do you want to eat dinner? Because I don't want to eat too much later. If you want to eat something, we're going to need to do it sooner rather than later. Oh, 
Oh, I gotta turn you around. I gotta turn you around. Oh my gosh, this guy. Honey, we, I'm gonna actually just turn around. I'm gonna unplug this. So what I got? Oh, I don't wanna turn the light off. But I gotta show you this guy. And I think we might need to go out on the deck because, get ready for this. It is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that sky. Look at that cotton candy sky. Let's go out on the deck. Oh, the church is all dark. Would you turn kitchen on, babe? She's right behind you. Turn your head there. Alexa, turn on kitchen light. Okay. Thanks. Oh. Oh my gosh. It was so good to stand up. Babe, let's go out on the deck. Right. For a minute. I have been inside all day working. Would you push that light off from the bottom down there, right. please? Thanks, honey. Soldering iron's unplugged. Soldering iron's unplugged. The steps are creaking like my bones. Now, sometimes when I look out the window down here till I get down to the deck, the um, sun has set because <laughs> it's far. I haven't been out on the deck today. Those are for in the Halloween boxes. The room that we're walking through, I gotta wash my fingers really quick. They're, um, they, I just got some weird stuff on. But the, um, the room that we're gonna be walking through here, the secret room's right underneath this room. This is bell tower that we're in. Just now. The secret room's underneath here. Oh my goodness, the sky. Oh my goodness, the weather. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, the cardinal. Honey, it was a red cardinal. AKA my dad. <laughs> Look at that sky. Look at it. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my gosh. We want to get into the secret room. Oh my gosh, look at the garden. Look at the garden. And the sky. The secret room is this this room. Let me get over here. Get over here. That sky is just so beautiful. So this is the bell tower. It's a hundred feet tall up to the top. It's five levels. And right underneath here is the secret room. Right underneath there. Right underneath that whole area out there. That's another room under there that has a little dome roof in it. But there's the bell tower. But let's look at this sky. <sighs> this is the best thing about this place. The um, This little village is so beautiful. And the people are so nice. The sun sets quick, though. I'm going to show you the garden before it gets too dark down there. Look at it. The garden. Oh, there is one little peephole. Oh my gosh, I gotta get in there and cut some things. There's tomatoes. There's a Sharon bush. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the. Morton, behind you. Look at the moon. Oh. Oh my gosh, the moon. The moon. Can you see the moon right there? Uh, the bell tower. So the bell tower definitely has a room underneath it, 100%. And then this room here, 
that we can't get into. Yeah, the Halloween boxes that are all sold out. They sold. I'm going to put up. Yep, yeah, I'm going to put up a little bit. So this is all room here too, under here, and it, you can see from up there, it's rounded, and there's one little peak hole to peep in, but the guy from Labyrinth sticking in there, but you really can't see in it. Sure, I know you can make tea yeah, they sold out. Hundred <laughs> percent, they sold out. Th Thirteen of them. Um. Yeah, you can make you can make tea like hibiscus tea. You can make that from Rose of Sharon. And you can eat the leaves as well. And that cross had been on the top of the to the the church. We bought this nine years ago. There's no a window there. Yeah. Would you like a cup of tea? You removed the window uh, completely, fancy fancy. Yeah. The moon. More in the moon. Uh, that window, I want to, I'm going to build a window for there myself. One on the other side. And I'm going to build a staircase up to the top. Because imagine sitting up there and watching the sunset. Yep, you can eat Rosa Sharon. Yep, you can eat the Imagine well. that. And watching the moon can... rise. Oh. Oh, that sky. Oh, that sky. No, we never got into the then church. The church was gutted when we came in. <laughs> yeah, there was no pews or anything there or any of the church. Fitting, but we never this... ripped any of the stuff out. This brick is... Honey, we need to stain this deck before winter. We need to stain the deck this color. Um, by we. Yeah, I do. By we, honey. Martin, you look so beautiful in the sunset. We built this deck. But we had this deck built. I've been drawing it since we moved in. <laughs> it's teeny tiny. But it's it's perfect to sit out here. And then in the village, down, down over the hill. The village is just like three streets. It's less than 200 people. But there's a, a playground and a ball field down there at the bottom. And they do fireworks from there. And the, the show happens right here. The fireworks show happens right here. So I'm standing on top of another secret room. <laughs> that one's a little one. Oh, I just almost tripped. What the heck was that? What was that? Is that no, something just ran down there. A little chipmunk, maybe. And our son just did. Oh my gosh, he just weeded that corner. There's our raspberry bushes. Oh, fireflies. fireflies are out. We should go up to the cemetery. But we sit beside 300 acres of woods. It's incredible. And that's a grow cage. I usually grow in hay bale gardens, but um, Morton had a heart attack, so in the spring, growing season did not happen. We have a vine down here, down there. That's got to be pumpkins, babe, growing down there. Those leaves are so huge. It what? It's uh, zucchini do not grow like that, honey. They don't grow like that. There's huge hibiscus plants down there. Hibiscus flowers. I gotta son do it. Son lives on the lower level. Yeah, our son lives on the ground level. Honey, tomorrow I need to do a um, live outside. I mean a video outside to show you what is blooming. There's so many beautiful blooms here right now. Look. The garlic chives. These are awesome. Let's go back in the baby. Can you lock that? But we're we're right. We're in the bell tower room. <clears throat> see the ropes went through the ceiling. The light yeah, I'm gonna flip that light on. I'll flip the light on so you can see the um. The bell tower, the secret room is right underneath here. Yes, the and cables the, came yeah, the cables, the, the cables to pull the bell there. So we can get to all the bell tower rooms 
except the one underneath here. <laughs> and our son lives down those stairs. And his place is awesome. And there's a stained glass window, a little poppy. That's a little window seat there. Once he gets done remodeling down there, we'll take you on a tour down there. And thanks for following everybody. <laughs> it's, uh, what is it, honey? Yeah. Well, we, the, um, I don't think a lot of people understand that we bought the house, we bought the church for less than $40,000 but it is, Alexa, turn on ferry. Okay. It's 10,000 square feet of just sort of everything. And we're not rich. <laughs> we have enough, we're not rich. So we save up for a project, then we do a project. Save up for a project, do a project. So, um, his, yeah, he, his, he has a daughter that has grown up. She's grown up. Visits way, way too little. Way too little. And this is a paper mache forest, our favorite place to sit. It's covered with a lot of stuff for the Halloween boxes. So I don't want to take you in there because there are surprises there. And people who bought boxes might be on the live. And I don't want to ruin a surprise. Oh, honey, get A to turn on the tiki room. No, the kiln's not on. I need to wrap some sea glass right now. So we'll listen to a lovely little bit of music. And we'll go in the tiki room. The tiki room's one of my favorite spots. Yeah, we have two bathrooms up here, and then our son has a bathroom. We're going to listen to a little bit of music. And I got to do some wire wrapping of sea glass. And I love doing it here in the tiki room. Honey, come here. I have my jewelry stuff here that I do. This little guy I have up. So Mrs. Doyle cleans under the desk. But normally I like to put my feet on it. Get circulation going. What? I said come to the tiki room. Do you want to get us a drink? Uh. Or you want to... um. If you're hungry, you want to get something to eat. I don't want to eat late if you want to eat. Well, that's be late. Mrs. Doyle's not running right now. Mrs. Doyle gets Sunday off. I don't get Sundays off, but Mrs. Doyle does. I don't want a Sunday off. I love being busy. I'm going to get you sat up here. And grab my sea glass. Let's see glass to wrap. Um, Mrs. Doyle, I need to run her during a live once. These are little earrings that I'm working on that um, are going to be little fairy earrings, I think. I was doing them today. <laughs> it was downtime. I was waiting for something else to happen. I just love to make stuff all the time. ABC, always be creating. Peaches earrings by chance. You know what? Funny you should ask that. I have made gauges for people with um, fused glass that look so cool. I don't have any 
here to show you. I don't think. Let me look and see what I got here. Yes. I always they sell so well. Those gauges sell so well. This I'm getting ready to ghost this up. This is getting um oh that's harsh. That's getting I'm gonna put a skeleton driving this. A little skeleton driving this. Yeah, the glass gauges are so popular. Thanks for reminding me about them. <laughs> I always forget I always forget there's loads of stuff that I make. Constance, thanks for following. And somebody else followed too. Thought. Thought followed. You are awesome. And guys, we're going to have a huge party when we hit 100,000 followers, but we're going to have the party in the creepy basement. <laughs> Oops. Party in the creepy basement. I don't have anything here even close to the shape of the gauges, but I do them from, um, like I make vitrograph glass. Right, let me turn this back on. I'm sorry, it's so bright. Um, I make this glass, I make in the kiln. It's called Vitrograph. And it's um, all different colors. But then obviously make them cir in circles. And everybody who wears them loves them. Like this is a tiny little bit. That has a little eye in it. <laughs> a little eye in it. <laughs> This is all glass we've made here. Oh my gosh, this piece is so cool. Look at that. I love that piece. Alexa's not listening to Martin right now. She's not having any of his stuff. Sometimes she listens to him. Sometimes Alexa's like, I don't understand you, Scottish man. This is all glass that I've made here. Um, sea glass. That's what we're after. And I've done gauges already, like glass gauges like this. This this is for wearing like a like a necklace, not like a necklace, a necklace. But this this is cool glass too. I don't know if you can see it right. I do different ones. I like to make things. <laughs> oh, like this, like this. Can you see it? The lighting's tough in the tiki room. It's gorgeous glass. It's all gorgeous. And these, I've made these. These are little windows that I've made that are gonna be in fairy houses. <laughs> these, these are like little stained glass windows and they're real glass for fairy houses. Look how cool they are. I love them. <laughs> uh, no, our, we just got our light bill. And we have 10,000 square feet of space here. And our light bill for the month was $180. And that's air conditioning down, our son has 2,400 square foot down in his. Um, and then, um, hold on. Alexa, turn off fairy. Okay. Better. <laughs> uh, what's sleeping in the garden? No, but it's still sleeping there. It's still sleeping there. So stained glass. I did, honey. Just turn that back on. I turned off fairy, but turn on just the kitchen light, my love. Um, just turn on the kitchen light, my love. <laughs> the fairy glass windows are so cute. I know just what I know just what I want to make with them. I'm gonna um, copper foil them and um, solder them in like little copper, little copper lattice that I make to go over the fairy house. 
So if this was the fairy house, um, say like a little window here with copper lattice and then the, the window at it. Um, something sleeping in the garden. I'm hoping it's a, it could be a groundhog. It could be a little bear. It could be, a, it could be a coyote. It could, I don't know what it is. Whatever it is, it can sleep there. I'm all good with it sleeping there. I love little creatures. But sea glass, sea glass is my passion. So sea glass starts like this. That's a bottle from Scotland. And in the olden days, the bottles, some of them were like this with the little, with these little ceramic stoppers. But in the real olden days, the, the, um, the sea glass, oh, you scared me. This is a stopper from the real olden days. Do you want a ghost or normal shape? Um, I'll have a ghost. I got a ghost. Roy Buzz tea. I needed that drink. It's not time for my pill yet. It's 20 past eight. That's early, honey. We're in the country. We're really in the country. It's a little village. A little village. Martin made these. They're like peach muffins. And this is a little book I wrote in Scotland about how sea glass is made. I did the little illustration for it. Caught me alive. Wheeze. Nurse Morton. There is Nurse Morton. Give her a hand. Cheers, honey. Yeah. Morton's so good. I'll show you a picture of a little mermaid in here. Hi there, Dora. And the story is called The Legend of the Scottish Mermaids. Morton made me, he wanted me to put this big disclaimer on there saying it was fiction. <laughs> this is Roy Busty. But it's a little teeny tiny book. We're eating muffins. <laughs> no, I mean it yesterday. Peach muffins for Din Din. Or, oh, my sea glass is sitting under the camera. I'm like, where's my sea glass? That's where it is. I'm going to have a little break. A little snacky wacky. Those mermaids are real. Just like I guess. I am a mermaid. When I'm in the water, 100% mermaid. Your mom wanted to make kids books. I gotta do a thing. I want to teach everybody how to self-publish. Like in the olden days, you had to do like a vanity press where you would buy, say you wanted to make this book. This is actually a CD that the song I wrote is on. <laughs> I was looking for that the other day. Um, but um, now, because of Amazon, you can, you, like, I have books on Amazon that I've written. It's so easy. Yes, yeah, so you do need that. Everybody has a story in them. Everybody has a story in them. And um, put it out there, you know. Hey, Donna, I want to do that. I'm going to do that. But in the olden days, you had to get a book printed and then you'd send it to people if they'd buy it. On, ongoing, uh, <laughs> never ending story. 
What is it? How's the converter in mm. the church going? The church is lovely. Doing it. Uh, honey, I'm what was that? that? Was that your tooth? Yeah. Oh, I, Martin. It must have been a bit of peach pit. Is your tooth okay? Yeah, it's a piece Go of peach pit or like something. That. Poor Martin. So, if your life has been bad up to this point, you're still breathing. Now make it just as happy as you can make it. My mom started to write her memoir. Oh, it's somewhere down in her cedar chest. I really want to dig it out and put it... He didn't break his tooth, but that did sound... That was the scary sound. Um, just make your life happy. We've all had, like, if... Oh, Anselia, thank you. If I wanted to tell you all the sad stories of my life, we would all be crying for like days and days and days and days. I, people, I think people think that because I'm like positive and I have a cheery disposition, I think people think that nothing bad has ever happened to me. It couldn't be further from the truth. Um... And I think we choose happy or sad. That's a hundred percent our choice. Nobody, nobody can control this. Only you. Nobody else gets to be in here. <laughs> just me. It's my own little world. And I'm just choosing happy and joy and love. You know, that's it. We all have had horrible, terrible things. Like Morton feeding me Toblerones for dinner. What you have for dinner tonight? Peach muffin, Toblerone. <laughs> um, but you know, stuff. what if we keep telling the same stories to ourselves or to other people? You're that's where you're stuck at. Get out of there. Just, um, just we all we've. You're having a corn dog. Oh, I love corn dogs. <laughs> Martin does love corn dogs. Flip that record, honey. Um, I have, I have, I have, uh, I don't even want to talk about tragedy in my life because we've all had it. We have all had it. And um, I just choose joy. I choose joy and happiness. You know, it's. It's, I think that's one thing we all have in common and a lot of people don't show it, but I think a lot of people need comforted and they need to know, like they need to be acknowledged steak and Brussels sprouts there. Um, you need to acknowledge it well, you know and then sprouts. get right on. What my love? Were you on it? Oh, steak and Brussels sprouts. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can't, don't dull your light, don't dull your shine. And it's easy to get sucked into stuff. Like when I first started doing TikTok, uh, trolls. I went down so many troll holes with people. Like firstly thinking, I can change a troll. <laughs> you can't. You just got to deal with a troll by ignoring them. Because I used to think... They're sad. <laughs> that person's sad. <laughs> but, um, Dora, smile. It doesn't matter if your teeth are bad. Martin didn't have a front tooth for a long time, but he doesn't smile anyway. But we, our society, we place so much importance on how we look, how we act, how it's all it's all down to what makes you happy if it makes you happy wear makeup being beautiful dressing up that's if that's making you happy you if you're not doing it for somebody else that's wonderful if you're like me and you bear like I, i'm wearing a shirt from 2007 <laughs> um and no makeup and no nothing nothing you just you know just be happy what do what makes you happy actively practice not giving I a flip tell what I look like a miserable yeah. yes mercy and i'm 60 years old i'm not growing up 
I've had strangers tell me to grow up. I've had strangers tell me to lose weight. I've had people, I've had people say to me, um, why did Martin marry you? <laughs> Do you have money? And it's like, what? <laughs> did you marry Is me? Is there something you're not telling me? <laughs> and, and, you know, people can be hurtful, but that's them. <laughs> it doesn't have to get you. <laughs> yep, you fall off that pony, you get on it. Hi, Corey Wave. Corey Wave came to visit me and Martin in person. And just, yeah, you fun. know, just the, the misery loves company. Let them be miserable. There was a lady last night. We were, <laughs> thought I was a sugar mama. He <laughs> thought wrong. Uh, if the sugar is Toblerone, maybe. But uh, <laughs> the, um, I have, you've seen my TikToks. I've made some people, like, I've made some people um, get a lot of energy point their way of, like, leave Priscilla alone. <laughs> but I never want to create any drama. I have zero, I can't do the drama thing. Can't do the drama thing. The funny one I get is, because I always look miserable, my relaxed expressions, a miserable old git, and I get people say, <laughs> Morton, blink, blink twice if you need rescued. Mm -hmm. It's like, come on. We don't own the cemetery. Thank Yeah, which is delightful because that's too much grass Oh to my cut. gosh. It takes three or four guys. It takes them about Half three or four hours to cut the cemetery. Oh, and they big ride <laughs> on zero turn one more. Mm -hmm. and the cemetery is big. But people can have their own opinion. That's cool. <clears throat> yeah, the cemetery is amazing. I was I was walking through it like the other day, and I saw mm -hmm. uh, sort of one of the candle type things at one of them. I thought, oh, I wonder if that's not that old. And then I realised it had uh, one of the sort of symbols next to it for the soldiers. It was actually a guy old. that had uh, he was born in eighteen ninety one, and he'd served in World War One. And he'd actually lost his life in 1918 in, in France. That's and so he'd sad. been, he'd, he'd served in France, lost his life over there, and had been shipped back to be buried. It's crazy. We're in the tea room. Morton is happy. He's super happy. Yeah, there's actual civil war graves there as well. Mm -hmm. But it's quite interesting when you walk mm. through it, there's plaques telling you, like the civil war graves and the. Like if the, if the guy served in World War One, or if he was in like World War Two and things like that, it's really quite mm -hmm. interesting. That's Morton collecting the sea glass. You were resting there. I was collecting sea glass. Mm -hmm. Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> hey. Morton, look at him. He's reading a swan. That was in Scotland. Uh, we got to get, we have a broadcaster that we have to put it, hook it up. A silver um, fox. <laughs> Maybe a silver badger. Um, I've got yeah. that badger's beard. This is Morton. If anybody, if there's any Outlander fans, this is that Thanks mill. For following. This is that mill in Outlander, and there's Morton at it, and um, there. Uh -huh. Is it Duddingston Mill? No, it's Preston, uh, Preston Mill. Preston Mill. It's Duddingston Mill. Morton, Morton has the best heart and soul. Morton's so kind and thoughtful. And when people say he's grumpy and sad and like angry, or those, you know, people make comments of like poor Morton, even though I do say poor Morton, because I, you know, but they'll say poor Morton, like about him being with me. <laughs> like poor Morton. The one of, what Sorry, are the, you're stuck one of the with crazy me. ones of that show Outlander is we got to series six and we had to power through it because it was so dark. Oh, it got very dark. And uh, then we just kept watching it wild and it got man. better and series seven's a lot better. Martin is a wild man. Martin does things like, 
just random wild things. And I love it. I love that there is no, um, you can't, poor Morton. <laughs> oh, thank you. I think Morton and I, we're not, scratch, yeah. we're not perfect people, but we are uh, perfect yeah, for yeah. each other. I'm his biggest fan and he's my biggest fan. And I, you know, I respect Morton like beyond the stars. It's not a 50 50 relationship. She it's like Lincoln. a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> a nod's as good as a wink to a flying bat. Yeah. Um, we've been together 22 years. Mm -hmm. 22 years. He, Martin's my, um, he's just, he's the, he's the best. He and Martin is the best. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Say no more. No more. <laughs> That puts me in the mood to watch some Python. Um, Martin and I get each other. We've been married. Both of, both of us were married before. And I think we really appreciate... I think we really appreciate each other. <laughs> you think it took? Yeah. Yeah. Um, my... Uh, <laughs> does she go? Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. <laughs> Python, was, they were so funny. They were so funny. That was some good stuff. Lots tongues. <laughs> I work for that smile. When Morton, when Morton smiles, it like, it, it's the whole world to me. <laughs> Shall we throw him to the floor? <laughs> yeah, of course, throw him to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I I think I've always um I've always just sort of been like a, oh that's okay that's okay coffee lover you reach out anytime you want to about that massage yeah colonoscopies are not fun I had you one a couple of years time. ago and it was like we had to drive 70 miles to where I had to go for it. And it was like, you know how you take all that stuff the night before? It's like, please don't have an accident. Please don't have an accident. <laughs> Terrified on my way to the surgery. Poor Martin. Although I was delighted when he says, good, don't need to see you for another 10 years. Oh, the joy of getting old. The joy of getting old is a good joy, too. If you're younger, um, the secret room, it's not a secret because we know there's a room there. It's the bottom of the bell tower. Bottom of the bell tower. And the walls are so thick, we just can't get into well, it. You know, five we have to years, go back in five years. That's, I mean, it's good that you know. Good that you know, but, um, yeah, the... Um, the thing about getting older is, I think a lot of people don't look forward to things. Like, they think it's finished. They think that the book is over. Mind you, see but, how many uh, likes you've got. How many likes? 46,000. Thank you for all the likes, everybody. But the the truth is, this is the truth. That's if, where they put the Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> the truth is, the best is yet to come for all of us. All of us. And, um... Like, there's, like, doom and gloom everywhere in this world. Doesn't matter where you live. Doom and gloom, bad stuff everywhere. I acknowledge that. But there's also incredible people. And there are, um, like, our grandchildren, they're 14 and 16 years old. That's who's going to be going forward, you know? We're in great shape. People worry about it. <laughs> the Holy Hundred. <laughs> Go away! We've already got one. <laughs> oh, that was so funny, that part. We've already got one. But yeah, just do stuff that excites you. Do stuff that brings you joy. Come watch, back, I'll bite your ankles off. It's only a flesh wound. <laughs> Bring me a swab away. <laughs> I was just at that castle oh, yeah. in um, 2021. Here I am, just a poor schwabist <laughs> trying to make a living. The castle where they filmed a lot of that. <laughs>
Always no. look on the bright side of life. You always have to. <clears throat> We've been together 22 years. And we're, Martin and I have agreed we're always just going to be on our honeymoon. And um, every day, every day can be Christmas. Every day is Christmas. We have, and it's not about presents. We, it's about like, just in, you know, that moment. Just enjoying and appreciating it all. Hmm. Oh, that's oh. a shame, Dora. It's so, it's all right. <laughs> yes, come on, this crazy but, I ride. mean, that's a, uh, Dora, the one way you got to look at it is that you might be like me at some point in time. I never had any kids, and then I got landed with two of them at 30, 30 year old. <laughs> You got two, gr you got yeah, two, I got fully, like two grown, fully grown kids. Children. So and the, and I ended up in my <laughs> and I've got my grandkids out of it as well. <laughs> you never know. Like, what I never had point. any. I've not got any blood children of my own, if you see what I mean. And I got my two kids, and then my grandkids, and I'm so lucky that they think of me as my dad, as their dad, and they and think the and the grandkids. Well, you are the grandkids think of me as their granddad as they there's no <laughs> are you not my real granddad is like it's it's oh, uh, the grandkids call martin pa mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. our grandson couldn't say grandpa he shortened it down to pa and they love martin beyond belief they love him so much Found a croc charm in Savannah. Well, I say things that said, go on the crocs. Do what you love. Yes. I like the little headlights yes. that go on the crocs. Yeah, blood doesn't make family. Like, I feel, this sounds weird, but I feel like we have hmm. TikTok family. I feel like we're family. <laughs> I feel like you're over for a visit. Yeah, Martin is, Martin is, uh, it's one of the one of the classic lines I ever remember in a film was Keanu Reeves in Parenthood, and it was brilliant. It's like you know, you need a license to have a dog, but anybody can have a have a kid, or anybody can be a dad, something like that. But, but it's true, you you need a license to get a dog. It's crazy. Would you put on um, would you put on music for daydreaming if you could find it? It's my favorite. Um, what's in the room is a mystery still. We, <laughs> we can't get in there. The walls are too thick. We have to get at it from the outside. And thank you for 51,000 likes, everybody. We're in the tiki room. We're behind the old room pipes. The pipes don't play anymore. Your cat's had you certified. I love it. Your kitty cats are so beautiful. And 100% people who don't think pets can be your children, you're wrong. <laughs> I had a I had a dog baby when I was 14. She was a chow chow and she 100%. We can't get in from above. It's a solid floor and our it's a bell tower. So the bell tower has five levels to it, each with a solid floor. Like when I talk about solid floors here, now. Our floors are crazy thick. So this isn't like a regular house built. This church is like, it's kind of more like a castle, I'd like say, how it's built. The foundations are... We know um, there's a snake lives in the other one. That's in the outside area. <laughs> Martin, I just gave him a good little smack. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to get into it someday. When we have the money saved up, we're going to get into it. But we we like um, we like to have a little pile of money that we save for a project that we have coming up. Because every projects all take money. And you can't mess. Angelia, you're right. You cannot mess with the structure. It's not a job for, for us to do. So... Um, we don't really do tours of our home, but we've had people come over and we just like hang out. During the winter, we heat it with wood, firewood. We got wood, a, oil, electric, well, we candles, do. oil lights. <laughs> you work for structural engineers, yeah. 
people I people have like knocked bell towers over um, I don't want to mess with the bell tower without somebody who knows what they're doing looking at it it'll happen when it happens but this this um, uh, we had a we have we had a block that was removed when they turned it into not a church anymore and now that's where we have our our um, address is up on that side where they took the corner block out yeah, and put the, in a new one, the cornerstone. I can't remember what they the call it. They the, call it the dedication when they, uh, stone uh, The dedication, when they deconsecrated stone. the church, they took yeah. that away. But, um, you know, I was thinking, and I think I might call up the local diocese and see if I could look through old stuff to see if there's anything. There's definitely not an outside door we can see. But you know that ugly fake stone they put on the outside of the steps? Mm. They might have covered up a door with that. Mm. You don't know. We'll see. When it happens, it happens. I'm not I, I made that I made that TikTok yesterday and I know um a lot of people have been commenting like look through with a little scope you can't it's too thick to get through it's not like drilling a hole through a two by four <clears> wall <throat> it's like three foot of stone <laughs> you can't just like zip get in there that's with like that when the guys were putting in the split unit last year it's like they had to drill through brick yeah. stone and oh. then the inside of the building there's the... like a wood <laughs> and then plaster anybody who's ever done any drilling in any of our walls yeah snake light our son has um like a fiber optic camera that's on like a little cord and you, there's nothing there's no way to put it through but um yeah they might have um we have the architectural plans of the upstairs but because this was all built on the old original foundation. They weren't in the drawings, so there's no local art, not in our art, maybe in the local historical society. I've never, I've not checked there. I need to check there and then with the, with the diocese as well to see if they have any details. But I just, I made that TikTok because um, AJ had taken the drywall off that wall and it was like you could see you we can now see like it was the old original stone in the middle and then on this side and on this side they blocked up doorways there wouldn't you say that yeah that it was was? Real totally this that. stone was the original and so there was like there were two doors going into there um, which is really weird. So yeah, because up up here it's like to a central doorway that's mm -hmm. about seven feet across. No, it's 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 it yeah, it's two it's double that. doors that are like three feet each. Yeah, but then there's space on each side of them. Behind. Oh, that's why the room's bigger. Sorry. We'll keep everybody posted on the mystery. And. Um, when we have enough when we have enough pennies saved mm -hmm. and we have the other roofs fixed we have six other roofs that we have to fix <laughs> we have a lot we have a lot well, have and a good dinner, dinner mascarello almost 6 p.m we did have boys and girls bathrooms the men's room we took out the um uh, the men's room we took out the urinal and put in a washer and there are there's some nuclear fallout places in basements in different like the library has yeah, a but nuclear it wouldn't fallout, have been not, it but it wouldn't enough. it wouldn't have been for that because it's not underground it's just at ground level I think it was just for storage but I would like to get into it yeah the local library in Shabokan's <laughs> got a nuclear bunker I know can't enjoy that I've been on and off I've been working all day. You've been keeping me company all day. <clears throat> I was just out on the deck. We watched the sunset. The, the 1870, it was built. Yeah, the, the oldest part of the church was built in 1870. It was originally a wooden structure that was uh, 
badly damaged in, I think, 1898 by a tornado, and they tore down the wooden structure and uh, rebuilt it with a stone structure on top of the uh, the stone foundation section. And uh, then it's been, uh, I think it was in the 30s, there was a, a bad dynamite explosion or something, or a white, bad mining accident, and the building was damaged again, and the coal companies did extensive work to the building again. So, honey, guess what? Guess what I what? have? I have a piece of glass in my foot. How did you manage that? I don't know. Running around barefoot while cutting glass. Yeah. That's not smart. There's actually a monument down in the town in the late 1800s. There was a dynamite train was going through the town to the local mines, and it actually blew up. And it destroyed one, a lot of the houses. car busted it, into another car. It destroyed a lot of the houses in the town. It killed several, I should say, said unalive. It, it unalived several people in the town and destroyed and like destroyed a lot of the houses. And it even damaged the church. It was that bad. It damaged windows and everything in the church. It was crazy. So there's a monument down in the town to that. We'll make up a good little TikTok with some history for you. We've just been super busy. We have workshops this weekend. We won't be on next weekend. This weekend coming, we won't be on at all because we have our workshops. And um, no, nothing creepy. Only, only happened. Mrs. Doyle running about. Yeah, Mrs. Doyle vacuuming. <laughs> um, but um, we've never, the only thing that's ever happened here has been somebody was snoring. And. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, we're going to be doing workshops this coming weekend, and then this week, uh, we're not going to be on lives a lot, so today was just about hanging out, one making of, arts and crafts. One of the craziest parts of this church's history is there's actually a video online of a, a Pennsylvania amateur wrestling thing had it for a little while. And there's video of them doing like, you know, the wrestling association things. There's a, a wrestling ring set up in the middle of the sanctuary room and they're doing like wrestling in it and they're doing that crazy like jumping off stuff okay. on top of each other. As, uh, I, can't, I can't even remember the link for the video that is I'll out there online. It. It's, it's it hilarious. It. I'll put it in our Facebook group. Um, acetate is oh, that's the word so oh, no, it's chinkatique. It's got the horses, has the isn't it? Misty of chinkatique. I read that book when I was little, and I just wanted to go to chinkatique so bad to get a pony, of course. And um, when my when my kids <clears throat> were little, I'm thinking I'm not going to deprive my children the way my parents deprived me. I'm going to go to chinkatique. We're going to see these ponies. And so we went to this, we went to a campground. It was actually a state park. And I put my tent up and I chose like the perfect place for the tent and um, away from people, but kind of close to bathrooms. And um, you got to see the ponies, yay. But I woke up, well, I woke up in the morning to go to the bathroom and I unzip the zipper of the tent, and there's a motorhome parked like this far from the entrance, like a big motorhome parked this far from my tent. And I'm like, oh my gosh, the nerve. Who would do that? Like the campground wasn't even filled. And then I looked up and saw that it was my parents' motorhome. My parents had came down and uh, I was so glad they did because it rained. <laughs> Cricket followed you in uh, Jennifer's shield. Cricket. And Kay, yes, I'm going to France for the whole month of February. I got a, um, um artist residency award and I'm going to be staying in a beautiful chateau. They make all your meals. I'm going to have my own studio there to just create in. And I think I'm going to, I'm definitely going to art, but I think I'm going to write a lot there because here I have too many distractions to write. But, and I've already thought about this, honey. 
I'm going to do a live from France every day, I think, just to give you a little update. I'm at least going to do a video every day. And, um, yeah, I'm going to be able to do TikTok. Depends on what internet's like. Yeah, they have Wi-Fi. <laughs> and uh, you're not going to go through withdrawals. We're going to France together. <laughs> We're Croissants. going together. We're going to, uh, yeah. <laughs> but it's going to be fun. <coughs> Five levels of the power, <coughs> how it resonates and stores energy. Mm -mm. I don't know about that. I am going to paint. I'm definitely going to paint. North Carolina. North Carolina is beautiful. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited. I had applied for this residency last year. I had forgot all about it. And then like a month ago, I got an email saying that I had won this award and I got this artist residency and I'm 60 years old and I feel like I'm just starting my life. Uh, TikTok's about the bells and towers. Our bell is gone, sadly. It was sold before we bought this place. A lot of the stuff was gone from here. But I'm glad the bells are gone because I would have rang it. <laughs> I would have definitely rang that bell. A lot of things, a lot of things were sold off, like the organ wouldn't play anymore. And but it's all good. <laughs> I'm excited to show you the chateau that I'm going to be staying at. It's it is gorgeous, super gorgeous. <laughs> well, they didn't take it. The person that had bought the church sold a lot of the church. He sold like the lights and the bell and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I'm so excited. I've never done a residency before. And Martin, Martin is like so supportive. Martin has always like just let me do my thing. Uh, Parlez-vous français uh, un petit? You should be Jean in there. Priscilla. <laughs> Who was the one that sat in the car and wouldn't speak French? But maybe, yeah. <laughs> the word is no. No? Yeah. <laughs> non français? <laughs> Parlez-vous anglais is what you need to say. <laughs> yeah, Parlez-vous anglais. Merci beaucoup. Learn, just learn how to apologize in France in French that you can't speak French. <laughs> uh, sacré bleu. <laughs> there, there's uh, there's a lot of French that I listen to now. I've been listening to French music because I I had French in high school. Honey, just leave it. It's done. I need but, to um, lift it on. Um, so I've been listening to a lot of French music and understanding the um, some of the lyrics. So, pardonne-moi, and s'il vous plaît, and yeah, if you try a little bit, but the residency where I'm going to, the chateau. Je voudrais un croissant. <laughs> oh. Oui, oui, je m'appelle bébé. <laughs> S'il vous plaît, un croissant. <laughs> but... Uh, the Chateau, their language that they do is English because they have people that come from all over. And um, so English is what they speak there. So I don't have to worry. But I do want to, I want a road trip when I'm in France too because I'm close to Switzerland. And I want to do, I'm going to have a, I'm going to hire a car for the whole month. So I have transportation because the little village the little village that the chateau is in, it's littler than our little village. I Amy love it. Shared. Thanks for sharing, Amy. It's going to be a fun adventure. Un, deux, trois, quatre. Yep. That's un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, seven, yep. neuf, dix. And now you have an app on your phone where you can just... Parler yeah, have you seen what some of the translations are? I know. Some don't trust those translations. <laughs> you could end up in jail. <laughs> yeah, a cat. <laughs> Catra. Catra. Yeah. The, um, yeah. The only one you need to wear is do. Yeah, the do do beer. <laughs> I don't drink beer. And why would I want two of them? <laughs> I don't know what tea is in French. I don't really drink tea either, honey. I'm a water person. Verde, what's... Aqua. No, but what would green tea? Verde, 
Verde. Well, that's tea. I don't know what tea is in French, but I'm not going to ask for it. I'm going to eat the food yeah, that the they prepare. <laughs> um, yeah, the Aristocats. The Aristocats is like the best movie. Uh, Wales is awesome. Welsh is Welsh is so beautiful though. I like a Welsh word that they use is an it's an expression. <clears throat> they say kutch for a cuddle. Um, yeah, verde is Spanish too. And I love I love like I'll say to Martin um, about let's have a little kutch and it's a little snuggle. I like that. And my grandma was Pennsylvania Dutch, and um, yeah, the, the we are Siamese. Yeah, the um, my my grandmother spoke Pennsylvania Dutch, so she would say the word "nutch," which meant cuddle. And we did not. We can't go into the rooms. The walls too thick. <laughs> we got to go from the outside, and um, we got to save up to go in the rooms. I want a dollar though for every time we get asked, you know, how did you go in the rooms? If we got a dollar for Mr. every Black time, Snake, what's in there? Martin, if we got <laughs> a, if we got a dollar for every time somebody asked about what's in that room, we could go in that room. <laughs> we could hire a structural engineer and get in that room from the outside. <laughs> it's going to be a minute, Phoenix, but stick around. We will eventually. And you never know. Never know. We might have somebody that turns up at our door that does this. You know. Yeah, the I'm excited about France. Super excited. We haven't a clue. We have no idea what's in the room. I'm it could hoping, be the Ark of the Covenant for all we know. <laughs> I'm hoping Christmas ornaments or priest gold. <laughs> <laughs> priest gold. socks, maybe. Priest socks. Maybe the priest's the extra, laundry. Extra black socks. Yeah. We don't know. But, honey, we should jump off. It's 9 o'clock, and I still have to load the kiln. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is, it's Pandora's box. It's um, People think you can just knock through that wall. You'd need a jackhammer to get through that and wall. And we also we don't can. know if it was you bricked up for like structural reasons or anything, you know? Yeah, get references. Trust me, Angelia. Yeah. We had a person. Yeah, I won't talk about that. <laughs> um, Definitely get references and make sure they have insurance. But everybody, thanks for hanging out so much today. Mm -hmm. You have any likes awesome. There are um, thanks for all the likes and the gifts. Likes. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching our TikToks. Thanks for being part of our lives. You're awesome. Cheerio. And appreciated. Bye bye. See you tomorrow, Mystery Monday. I'm gonna go make the event right now and register for it and also do a TikTok. I'll pull the winner from today's stained glass Sunday. I'll pull the winner from the people who've registered. We'll do that random mm -hmm. ran it's random.org is what I used to do it. So nighty night, have a sweet dreams. Cheerio. See you tomorrow. Night night.